Many nations love to wrestle, but no one is as successful in wrestling as Degastanis and Asashins, who for many years have been trying to find out who are the best wrestlers. True, if we judge by the number of gold medals won at the Olympics and World Championships, Degastan will be ahead, but only because the population of Arsatia is much smaller. So, why Degastanis are such powerful wrestlers and why freestyle wrestling is so popular here? I will try to answer these questions in today's video. Dagestan is called the land of mountains, the land of languages and the land of wrestlers. Freestyle wrestling is practically a national sport here, and has long since swung over the edge of the wrestling mat and intertwined with politics, economics, culture, and religion. There is even a humorous saying about the number and level of Dagestani wrestlers. Throw a stone into the crowd and you will get a master of sports. Throw to stones and you will get a European champion. Throw a handful of stones and you will get an Olympic champion. Jokes are jokes, but this land has raised many champion wrestlers. From ancient times, wrestling has been not just a sport but a way of life in Dagestan. Life in the harsh conditions of the high mountains required from Dagestani man fortitude, endurance, great strength, will and perseverance. The same qualities were always irreplaceable during conflicts with uninvited guests. Dagestani Bogaters have always been honored in society, the most famous of them can be considered Mama Mekshulev, better known under the pseudonym Sali Suleiman. He was called the Invincible Lion of Dagestan for a reason, he even drew a fight with Ivan Podobny himself. Also among those Dagestani Bogaters who lived in the not-so-distant past, when there was already a chronicle and a photograph, we can remember Osman Abdurakmanov and Ali Klitsch Kasayev. Being giants and strongmen by nature, they were sportsmen only partially. After all, professional sports came to the Republic much later. Martial arts began to gain popularity in Dagestan in the 1950s, when the Soviet Union began to develop performance sports in order to establish itself on the world stage without weapons. In 1957, the very young Sorokhet Asayatilov became the first Dagestani champion of the Soviet Union in freestyle wrestling. He was self-taught, he never had a coach, for which he was nicknamed the Wild Wrestler. His example inspired many Dagestani boys, and from the 60s in the Republic began a real wrestling fever and the passion for wrestling became mass. At that time Ali Aliyev became a nine-time champion of the Soviet Union and five times won the World Championships, became a legend of freestyle wrestling and also an example for the whole generation of wrestlers. Since those days, the names of Dagestani wrestlers have rumbled all over the world. In total, the region brought the national teams of the Soviet Union and then Russian 19 Olympic gold medals in freestyle wrestling and dozens of awards of international championships. Now the main record is held by Buvesa Sativ, the owner of three Olympic gold medals. But such a mess enthusiasm for freestyle wrestling generates huge competition. Local wrestlers even admit that taking Dagestan is harder than winning at Europe or at the World Championships. Because of the high competition, some Dagestani athletes play for teams from other regions and even countries. It happens that Dagestani wrestlers meet on the carpet under the flags of different countries. For example, Olympic champions Adorashid Sejalev, who represented Russia, and Sharif Sharifov, who has been competing for Azerbaijan for many years, fought in the final of the 2018 European Championship. Both athletes are natives of the Karoda district of Dagestan. And though it is very difficult to break through here among many talented wrestlers, nevertheless the wrestling carpet remains an important symbol for Dagestani society, against the background of which many processes in the Republic can be seen. It is a space where fights take place and important economic and political issues are solved, where wrestlers find a second family and friends, and where they can climb the social ladder or simply achieve privileges.